I have been part of the fitness industry for 45 years. Started training bodybuilders, getting them ready for competitions. My mission is to help as many young people as possible from eating all that <laughs> that they eat every day, make them feel This is my disclaimer. Everything I say on this show is my opinion. If you don't like it, it. I'm not talking about any brands, any corporations, but if the shoe fits, you wear it. Now, we are filming. It's normal. Stop it. Just the shut the up. Give, give me that thing. The whole world is going to be saying what I'm saying. And Come so. and say that to your dad. Call your dad as Welcome to the fucking Eddie Abu show. Your gut is like a city. In a city, you want professional people to work in the city, like accountants, professional people who want to actually pay their taxes. But if you go to a city and you feed the city with fucking gangsters, with guns and drugs, it's fucked. This is like yoga here. This is a city. You want to feed the city with fucking proper stuff. And all you got one fucking thing to do. Put the right stuff in here. Put the right stuff in here. Every time you get indigestion, every time you get fucking diarrhea, every time you're constipated, that means there's an imbalance in your gut. It's called this fucking biosis. And as soon as you learn that, means there's an imbalance. Your gut bacteria, you want about 85% of your gut bacteria to be good. And then the rest of the 15 is bad, that's fine. But we're going around eating all that shit and creating this biosis in our gut bacteria. So all your fucking skin conditions, all your acne, all your fucking psoriasis, all your depression, all your fucking anxiety, all your panic attacks, all the shit that you sit around, you think, my girlfriend finishes me. <laughs> That's because you're eating fucking shit. The worst offenders for bad gut health, sugar. Eight vegan sausages. What the fuck is this? When you look at the back of it, it's got sugar in it. Why would you have sugar? Sugar is in everything. And what happens is, in your gut, the bad bacteria prefers sugar. Remember, the good bacteria prefers fiber. And then you got, give, fuck, give me that fucking thing. Give me that fucking thing. Look, now it says low calorie, but in there, you got all the fucking sweetness, aspartame, sucralose, and sulfate, potassium, and um, saccharine. This is all fucking shit. Is there somebody talking when you're trying to fucking film? Fucking hell, we are filming. This has got zero sugar. It says zero sugar in bold, because that's what they want you to see. <laughs> fucking hell, who the fuck is, are you, who the fuck is that? No, stop, you, wait, do you want to film or do you want to fucking chat on your phone? Stop, remember, this is very important. Listen to this, right? Make sure you eat foods with micronutrients, that foods that nature made, foods that nature made, they come with their own micronutrients for you to convert that food into fucking energy or tissue. Guys, wake the fuck up. When you drink a protein shake or these protein products and you get a bloating in your tummy for a while and you just think it's normal, that means there is an imbalance in your gut bacteria. Remember, you want about 85% of your gut bacteria to be good. 85%, that's how high it is. When you, you got acid reflux, for instance, that's a backflow of stomach acid. You need to address it. There's something you're eating that's causing that. I got somebody in the crew here and he says to me, Oh, Ganen, you got to eat this thing called shit away then. Fuck, just the fucking, shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. When you got bloating, remember, the same, dysbiosis. There's an imbalance in your gut bacteria. Your gut, it's like a city. You put the wrong stuff in there and you start fighting you. Now, diarrhea, same thing. Something's going through your tummy too fast. There's something causing that. Like I said, dysbiosis. Find out what it is and get rid of it. With diarrhea, a lot of the time, it's because um, it, it happens instantly. You may not know what it is. And if it's constant, it's chronic, it's not stopping, go see your doctor straight away. Now, constipation, you're full of shit. You need to sort that out. There's something that you're doing. 
it's something that you're doing. You're probably eating foods that are not, um, you know, that don't have any fiber in it. Work it out, find out what it is, investigate, cut things out, slowly start bringing things in, and then sew yourself up, boom. There you go. And cut, fantastic. If you eat the way I'm asking you to eat, when you get up in the morning, don't eat anything. Wait until about 12, 1 o'clock. Have some avocado and fucking eggs. Eat about, if you're a guy, eat about six eggs. If you're a girl, eat about four eggs and one avocado. And then you see, when you eat that, you think, hang on, your insulin level will be steady throughout the day. You won't be falling a fucking sleep at three o'clock. You're tired and you're carrying body fat. That's stupid. This is energy. You've stole this energy. There's a reason why you stole this energy. You've eaten something, you've done something to tell your body to store energy for a rainy day. And you have to undo whatever it is. Counting calories is the most idiotic thing that ever happened. Guys, listen to what I'm saying because eventually the whole world is going to be saying what I'm saying. Stop counting calories, eat the right stuff, feed your gut bacteria right, and the weight will just fall off you. Guys, wake the fuck up. It's the fucking Eddie Abu show. Oh, fuck it up. We are doing spatchcock Thai chicken today, and we're having a lot what did of. Did you say? Spatch. I called you a spatchcock. I and can't so. You can say that to your dad. Call your dad a spatchcock. What are is a you? Spatchcock? <laughs> we're doing yeah Thai spiced spatchcock chicken. So by spatchcocking it, you take out the spine, flatten it out, done. And in the blender, I've got lime leaves, I've got coriander, chili, lemongrass. Yeah, go on. She sways. She sways. Chili, lemongrass, coriander, lime leaf. That's it. That's I'm going to put a little bit of water in it because I'm slightly going to fry it before I put it on this. Actually, let's do a little squeeze of lime now. So it's like a rub, isn't it? Yeah, do it like a rub. Give that okay. a shift. Ooh, that's strong. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so... The lemon, isn't it? So I'm going to quickly fry this off, get a little bit of colour in it, spread it all over, then straight in the oven. Oh, so you fry this? Fry this, just get the bit more flavour out of it. I thought... I thought I knew how to cook. So we're doing it on a medium heat and we're getting it quite hot. Get off me. My, my, all my kisses have shaved my head for me. I know you know you're bold, you should know. But you see, shaved my head for me. And I used to give him a fiver when they were younger. No, sorry, let's rephrase that. You used to give Brandon and Eva a fiver. You used to just give me a, oh, thank you, you're so sweet. <laughs> you know, you, you, you give birth to them. <laughs> you clean their shit for years. And they, they grow up and then, yeah, 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 yeah. Fuck kids, man, bloody hell. It's important to eat real food. Foods that your body recognizes. Because when you eat all the other bars and the potions, you will build the muscle, but you're weakening your immune system. That's why most of you are walking around, you got flimsy immune systems. So I used to suffer with a lot of IBS problems. I used to have like bloating all the time, uh, constipation, diarrhea, mainly diarrhea. Mainly diarrhea. The shit we went through as parents. Like the literal. <laughs> literal, I mean, every, she was like, every bloody week we are seeing a different consultant. Yeah, and it wasn't until I just stopped eating all this ultra processed food that it, I made a difference. Okay, we are spreading our mix, our hot mix onto the chicken. When you use lime leaves and lemongrass, it gives a quite a really authentic Thai taste to it. So, delicious. I'm taking this to the oven. We're going to have it on our grill setting, we're going to get a nice colour on top, and we'll see you in about 20 minutes. Thank you so much for Oh, I'll see you later. Oh, I nice thought you were telling us to fuck off. No, I mean. So, what I'm doing is I'm mashing the avocado, just cut avocado, just mashing it up. You know, so it's going to be that's it. Okay, chicken's just come out of the oven. It's got that lovely caramelization on it. It's fully cooked in the inside. And it's smelling delicious, so. <laughs> <laughs> what, 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 a, what? You just have a bit of avocado You in forgot it. to breathe again. That is, yeah. <laughs> I was choking on your talent here. I thought, I, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I, 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 sorry, I, it, it's not my fault. I taught her everything. I even had to breathe. She, <laughs> she keeps forgetting to breathe. Yeah. Because she's too busy chatting shit like her old man. Now look at that. This, this is not shit. 
Well done, Dad. Okay, we're gonna serve a bit up. I like making a mess. Can I have a, a, a piece of that? Of course, Edward. But, but can I cut, can I get some knife and fork and cut it? No. I want to pick it up. Yeah. Listen, I'm from the motherland. We eat with our hands. Fuck them. Yeah. Yeah, I'll give it to mum. Yeah? How is it? I like it. <laughs> Guys, see you next Sunday. Ooh. I can see some liver. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> don't trust anything like this. I don't understand how you guys are being fucking conned and you're sitting there, you're taking it. With some mint, some parsley, a bit of cumin. Oh, get off.